to thank you. Item three, minutes to receive the minutes of the meeting held on the 5th of March, laid on the table at least half an hour before this meeting. You agreed? Agreed. agreed? Thank you. Apologies for absence. We have apologies from councillors Peter Isherwood, Simon Inchbold, Anna James and Libby Piper. Thank you. Thank you. Declaration of interests? Uh, none prior to the meeting. Have we had any questions from the members of the public? None received. Thank you. Questions from members? Um, none received. Actions authorised? Eight. Uh, there's been none. Thank you. Item 9, Licensing Act 2003, Public Consultation on the Review of a Council State Licence Policy, pages 5 to 50 of the report. Paul is going to... Thank you. Are there any observations or addresses on the subject, please? Thank you, Chairman. Um, Waverley is required to review its statement of licensing policy every five years. The current policy has been in place since August 2013 and required updating following changes to legislation. Officers reviewed the policy and sent it out for consultation on the 8th of March for a 12-week period to the 1st of June. We received two responses um, that proposed changes which are attached to Annex 3. Um, and an amendment to, to cover these has been made at point 18.3 on page 26 of the policy, which is page 37 of the report. I've also received today a, a planning update, which was quite late, so I've tabled it this morning and handed out some um, planning updates. Um, officers request that you consider the matter. I do beg your pardon, I thought it was wrong. Members, have you any questions or observations on the documents been presented or the latest document presented this morning? Would you like time to read it? Patricia. Councillor Ellis. Thank you, Chairman. A very small and possibly minor um, suggestion. On page 22 of the report, reference 6.11 and 12 and sort of 6.13 that I'm sorry I'm not terribly aware of the early morning restriction orders and late night levy and there doesn't appear to be any any reference to them elsewhere in the documentation with regard to the cumulative effect impact um, 6.13 that is explained in 616 do we need to have some sort of a brief minor explanation of early morning restricted restriction orders and late night levy thank you thank you for that officers was that would you would like an explanation of what what they are yes i can add that to, to the policy Councillor Gordon-Smith. Thank you. An observation which uh, won't affect this but must be taken into account in future. I see this is planning and parking. Um, from other work we were doing in Waverley on buildings and that, we're going to have to take into account when we're looking at parking and that, the provision of fueling of cars in the future. And uh, this may well involve licensing and that because going to be a tricky area but um, uh, people coming here um, it's not just electric cars I'm thinking but Thank that's you. a long term Councillor Knowles I pass, bypass you I'm afraid uh, no problem Chairman um, on the sheet that's been handed out and perhaps it could be explained but 18.6 at the bottom has reappeared again whereas it struck out on page 36 of the document, and 18.3 already says it anyway. So it seems that we're striking out, re-putting in, and it's there twice. It's at 18.3, and the exact words down on the sheet that have just been handed out are 18.6 again. We go 
good time for the officers to check their notes. Yeah, sorry, Chairman. I've only received this literally minutes before the meeting, so I haven't been able to digest it yet. But, yeah, we'll take that into account and arrange it so it's, yeah. Council yeah, th thank you, Chairman. I, I, we were just talking at the beginning about defining what uh, ER, whatever they are, uh, early morning restriction orders and late night levies are. Presumably they're in statute. So um, I, I think the problem with policies, if you start then explaining what everything means in a policy, you can't see the wood for the trees. It seems to me, I, I, and I'm not quite sure what they are, but... Um, but no doubt one could look it up because it's in statute and therefore um, uh, we don't need to, I would have thought, then start putting in definition clauses to say what these things are is, is my initial reaction. Thank you. You, you think it's a more a covering statement in our policy? Yes. Councillor Ellis, are you, are you happy with that? Yes, thank you, Chairman. I was just thinking perhaps of a one-word indication, a one-sentence indication of what it was, not a long explanation, but I accept the majority decision. Thank we all know the use of English. We all know, understand the use of English in, in compiling uh, statements. Are there any more observations to be made before we proceed? May we take the recommendation in that case that's laid before us, recommended that the Licensing and Regulatory Committee consider representations in the Annex 3 of this report and make the recommendations appropriate to the Executive so final revised version of the statement of the licensing policy for Waverley can be approved by the Council and with a view to formal adoption in order that a revised policy may be in place by August 2018. Do you accept that? Agreed. Thank you. May we pass to other licensing items, which is at item 10, minutes of the meeting of the Licensing General Purposes Subcommittee uh, on held on the 21st of May 2018. Are there any observations to be made on that? Uh, Councillor Goodridge. Yes, I don't need to go into exempt or anything, but could you tell me what a suitable test is? Uh, perhaps the officer can pull and answer this one rather directly. <laughs> Sorry, I missed, I didn't what? hear. What is a suitable test? In, in regards to? In regard to the meeting that took place on the 21st of May, when oh, there was a driving licence reviewed, I say you don't need to go into exempt, but I just wanted to know what a suitable test oh, is. Oh, right sorry, that was me, I'm going... Bit deaf. Um, so with new drivers now we go through the policy and part of our knowledge test with that is questions on the policy so a lot of the things that he has got points for are failing to notify us of certain things which are all in the policy or not having his plate on the back of his car which is on the policy so we're going to use that set of questions and ask him but to give you an update on the case oh, uh, Paul want to go to exempt so I don't want the name of the person I just oh. want to know in other words he's tested on his n knowing the licensing policy and and what are the requirements for having a license yes yeah, so is what he's got will, to do there will be a number of questions on the policy right similar to new license holders have, yeah, to, have to go through it it's based on what we ask the new drivers right it's like retaking his test in effect mm. so far as Licensing rather than driving. But as far as the licensing policy is concerned, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, having experience of this in other places, it's found that a lot of the drivers don't have any knowledge of our particular requirements, and they've never read them, 
and uh, it would seem a necessary exercise to bring it to their attention. doing then and item 12 any legal advice that is uh, necessary nothing to add thank you thank you well, in that case i declare this meeting closed <laughs>